Las Vegas. Is Las Vegas a 24-hour city? Has it recovered from that just yet? Now that international travel is resuming on Monday, uh, what can we expect? Well, what can you expect coming in to Las Vegas as the international travelers come in here or vacation? Our next biggest event will be the, uh, I believe, the bull riding event here. And that would be the next one. And I think the NFR rodeo thing will be the last year here. And they will be going to, I believe, Orlando. So we lose them in the face of adversity here in Las Vegas uh, due to uh, the pandemic and shutdown situations and prolonged periods of that sort of thing. So that's what's going on. But if you're an international flight and you're coming in here, maybe you're preparing to come to Vegas, you got your tickets, you got your hotel, you know where you're going, you know where you're staying, but is Las Vegas a 24-hour city? Do you plan on partying and staying up all night and then come to find out your favorite uh, diner is not open uh, 24 hours in the wee hours of the morning, as you would expect, such as pup, the uh, Pepper Mill uh, right across the street from Circus Circus. Now, uh, a lot of the restaurants, like chain restaurants and uh, fast casual kind of uh, restaurant chains here, will shut down at a certain time, usually around uh, 12 o'clock, some maybe 2 p.m. But anything past that is pretty much uh, curtains for uh, food and drink and stuff like that. The only place I do know would be at the uh, Venetian. Uh, you've got uh, a couple of dining spots, Venetian and Palazzo. But I think more so on the Venetian side. Grand Lux. So the only option you pretty much have on the Strip is the Grand Lux Cafe at the Palazzo. Uh, I believe closes a little early than the Grand Lux. Buff the Grand Lux Diner at um, the Venetian. So that's what we're looking at. So those are the only late nights. And there might be a couple of something at Caesars. I'm not even sure which ones yet. Um... But maybe you get lucky with the room service. I don't know. But those are your options. Breakfast, obviously, is going to probably be 7 a.m. around uh, the Strip. You know, on Amagabi. Um, you know, restaurants at the Cosmopolitan. You know, and everywhere else. Uh, that you can grab a breakfast or something to get you going throughout the day, such as coffee. But the 24-hour situation here in Las Vegas is because due to uh, worker shortage, uh, people are just not coming back to work or they're just taking a, an, ex, an extended unemployment. Uh, slow convention come back, even though I just got done with a CE, uh, not CES, that's coming up in the first of the year. I uh, just got done with SEMA. SEMA is the aftercar market show, which is typically really huge. This year, I didn't see a lot of numbers come through this year, but it was it was fun. I did go to it. If you want to see some videos on that, I'll leave links so you guys can see that. I did do a walkthrough in the front uh, convention area, not inside, but the outside. They do a lot of cool car stuff outside, so burnouts, and uh, they show off uh, custom-made cars and all that neat kind of stuff. So if you're into car stuff, I would check it out. But uh, but businesses are hampering from that, from, from going uh, 24 7 because of that and small business association has seen a slowdown for sure and uh you know the numbers of people and stuff like that although it doesn't seem like it to us locals it seems like vegas is pretty packed based on traffic and all that other stuff it could be the uh sports and all of these other uh, entertainment things that have come through here such this past weekend we had the rolling stones we had Gwen Estefani was uh, playing. Uh, who else? We had a boxing match. We had the SEMA thing going on. George Thorogood down on uh, Fremont Street was a thing. That was actually pretty good. I uh, went down there. I have a video of that too. So if you want to see that, you can check that out. But yeah, Fremont Street's always a good time. Now, 24 hours on Fremont Street, you probably are going to be out of luck with that because... It is uh, not 24 hours for food, that is, uh, Fremont Street. You might get away with, like, Coney Island at the D. There might be an open uh, late night more than usual there. You can just get some hot dogs, just something to get down, uh, that kind of thing. There is a 24-hour diner at Circa. 
Oh, Circa has uh, the Saginaw's Deli. I like Saginaw's Deli. It's a little pricey, but it's open 24 hours. They do serve breakfast, coffee, and they also serve alcohol if you want to drink till the wee hours of the morning. So that's that. So that's what you're looking at here as far as, uh, you know, the 24-hour thing, late Friday and late night, last call stuff is is just, it's, uh, it's probably where you're going to get anything past 2 a.m., it's probably going to be closed, especially one of our favorite places is the Pepper Mill. We love going to the Pepper because you can get there late. It's very comfortable. Everyone goes there, and it's great people watching because people are usually drunk or doing some silly stuff in the booths, and uh, you know maybe someone's doing a little kissy-poo with their girlfriend or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's kind of rowdy sometimes, and it's fun, but it's all – I've never had an incident there as far as like – uh, you know, people getting too out of hand there, but it's fun. They even have a back bar lounge. It's a loungy, swanky, cheesy, Vegasy thing in the back. It's actually a bar. It's small. It looks big because everything's glass walls and stuff like that. But uh, if you sit next to the fire pit, you can really feel really uh, swanky there if you're hanging out at uh, Pepper Mill at a reasonable hour. That is. But the 24-hour thing, just to let you know, guys, is uh, not coming back because of the workforce here. They've chosen to stay home and do TikTok videos and YouTube and also probably investing in cryptocurrency with their unemployment money. But that's how these things go. <laughs> you know, I'm even, I'm even looking at that kind of thing as investing into crypto and all that stuff. That's just a whole different ball game. Seems like a fun thing to do. Instead of going to the casinos, uh, we can do that. But anyways, uh, what else is going on? Buffets. You know, some people are coming here for buffets. So let's transition to, to from 24-hour places that might or might not be open, but buffets because that's where people come to. And especially bull riders, uh, they're hungry. They want a buffet. It's either a steak, steak and potatoes dinner or a South Point Garden Buffet, which is a, a bull rider's dream castle, is at uh, South Point Buffet. It's a garden buffet. But anyways, it's good. Uh, it's probably one of the better ones. And it, if, if you're staying at Circus Circus, they don't have a buffet anymore. They just have fast casual foods like Popeye's Chicken, Dairy Queen, and all that st all the uh, you know, simple stuff. So they have that there. But if you're going to South Point, I think you're you're good with the buffet there. And it's probably the most value added kind of thing as far as more bang for your buck. The more the fancier place would be the uh, you know, the wicked spoon at the Cosmo is always a popular place to go to. Everyone likes that. And uh and Main Street Casino, if you're on Fremont Street, Main Street Station Casino is also a garden buffet there. That's really good. It's probably the same thing as uh, South Point, I would say. I have to go there. I haven't been to a buffet in a while. I should probably do one. I should go to Wicked Spoon or something like that. Let me know in the comments below. What what one do you think I should do? Uh, buffets? Some people say buffets are kind of sucky. Uh, some people love them because, you know, if you got like four or five people with you, you can all sit at a buffet and grab whatever. You don't have to get picky about the menu and just you just scoop it on and move about your day. I like that because, um, you know, I like to scoop it on and just kind of be picky about what's displayed out there. Most of it's junk food anyway. So I usually try to stay with... Uh, you know, the meat section, maybe a little dessert, uh, but not too much of the cheesy stuff, like cheese, like pastas, and so I can't, I can't eat that stuff. I used to eat a lot of it when I was younger, but not anymore. Anyway, enough about me, more about you. Someone says the Luxor Buffet is awesome, so, uh, okay, I don't, I've never been to the Luxor's Buffet, I don't know. It's below the structure, I know that. So if any flooding happens, you'll know why. The win is always good. That's just called the buffet. Uh, the win is very fancy. You'll feel like you're someone special going into the buffet area. It's really cool. 
And some people have bad experiences with buffets. I don't know if that's you or not, but if you've ever had a bad experience at uh, like a diner or a buffet, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think uh, about some of your Vegas, uh, Las Vegas experiences here. I'd love to hear more about what you've experienced. I know if, uh, I read a lot of comments on Facebook and Twitter, and there's a lot of um, pros and cons to eating at some of these places. But I've never really had a con yet. Maybe I was maybe just fat, dissatisfied with some of the food, but I just moved on to something else. But most people have their hearts set on like uh, some sort of uh, cuisine that they were, you know, hoping to get there. So I don't know, but let me know. I would like to uh, reply to some of your comments if I could. Other than that, the sports is running pretty good here. Um, international travelers, that's going to be Monday. So, And that's the whole purpose of this video is to let some of these international travelers know about some of the things that are still open and kind of restricted here in Las Vegas. I know that uh, people that are coming to another country or you know far off distance i know a lot of uk people love to come here and live it up and all that stuff so um you know they're gonna have to have a, a three-day window of a negative test and also or a proof of vaccination so that's kind of the the thing with getting out of uh your country and you're coming here to las vegas to party maybe to meet me i don't know I'll be around. Maybe we'll have a county dog somewhere. I just eat uh, two of them. I, I only do two. Two hot dogs and I'm good. Some of you are probably like 10 hot dogs in. And I'm like, whoa. Uh, so that we're looking forward to you though. If you are from international waters somewhere else, leave a comment below. Let me know where you're from. All that stuff so we can give you a shout out. Or I'll give you a, an acknowledgement that I've read your comment. I usually read all the comments, by the way. Make sure I acknowledge you guys. and You're putting forth effort into putting the comment in. I might as well read it. And only it's the uh, law of recipro it's reciprocation. Uh, so that's that. And hopefully you guys, you know, if you're not subscribed, if you're not getting any uh, notifications from this channel or whatever, the thing to do is to unsubscribe, resubscribe, and hit the bell button. That'll, that'll kick you back in. I think YouTube had some sort of glitch in their system, and I don't think a lot of people are getting our uh, videos anymore. So I think that's what's going on. And um, that's it. I did go to SEMA. I did go to Fremont Street. If you want to see those videos, we'll leave a link for those at the end of this video so you guys can see that stuff. But anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll see you international travelers here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, three-day week. I don't know. Maybe you do a weekend. Let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Cheers.